okay so in this video I'm going to teach you how to build a mobile app that will be able to communicate with BLE modules like this AT09 BLE module or HM10 BLE modules and other BLE modules so I'm going to show you the trick on how to build the app okay let's begin I'm going to go straight to MIT App Inventor so the first thing I'm going to do is to of course create start a new project so I'm going to call it BLE BLE module then OK so it opens good so we have an entirely new interface the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we have our BLE extension added to our app so we don't have it here so I'm going to import it don't be scared I'm going to share the the BLE file in the extension below so I'm going to upload it so import so after importing it I expect to see it here cool so that's it here so I'm going to drag it into my app so I have it here now let's now focus on the major app that we want to build so this is our app first of all I'm going to change some certain things in this app that I don't like so the title of the app I'm going to call it BLE module cool the next thing I'm going to change is uh, maybe the primary color okay let me leave it at this um, you can as well change other things that you would like to change you can also upload the icon too from here if you have an icon that you intend to add so I'm just going to go straight to the major thing okay so let's try to get the interface ready so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the horizontal here the horizontal arrangement I'm going to make sure it is um, fill parent width fill parent okay I'm going to need three buttons inside it so the first button I'm going to need I'm going to call it I'll call it scan so we're going to use this to scan our Bluetooth devices that are available so I'm going to make it bold I'm going to make this guy probably 18 so the next thing I'm going to do is drag another button add to it so I'm going to change the text so I'm going to call it um, let's call this connect then I'm going to also make this bold and also change this to 18 font to make it bigger so the next one I I think I would like to change the color too but let me add the last one which is to enable us disconnect maybe at any point you feel you want to disconnect you can easily disconnect so let's add it so disconnect so I'm going to make it bold also and I'm going to make this 18 so the next thing I'm going to do is um, add little spacing between them so you don't click two buttons at a time so I'm going to add little spacing between them I'll use a label to do that so that's a label I'll make the test blank and I'll make the width maybe 20 20 is fine and I'm going to add another one here I'm going to remove the text I'm going to make the width the same 20 So let me change this text color to, I mean this button. I would like to use a color like cyan. Cool. I'm going to change this to green because I mean green means good. You try to connect. Oh, it's too, it's too shouty. Let's make it dark. We'll go to custom. So I'm going to make it darker here. The next thing I'm going to do is to change that of discount to red. Of course, it's danger. You're trying to disconnect, you know. So let's get red okay that's cool um, should I make it darker oh that's at your discretion but let me just make it a little darker okay so I think I have this right now so the next thing I'm gonna need is um, something like a status it's gonna tell me whether I'm connected or disconnected you know so uh, I think I would like to use a label to create that so I'll keep it at the top here yeah that's it so I'm gonna change this so I'm gonna call it status then put a column probably at default is going to be disconnected so disconnected 
So I'm gonna make it bold. And I'm gonna make this 18. Uh, I think I'd like to change the text color to, to probably something like blue. Okay, let's change the text color to blue. Okay, I think that's sweet. Um, although, looking at the app from this point, it's looking like it's cut here. Uh, I mean, when you test it on your phone, you're gonna, not going to see this. Okay, I think I'd like to add a little space at the top of the app here. So I'll add a little space. I'm gonna give it a height of um first of all remove the text. I'm gonna give it a height of probably the same twenty. Just a little space. Um yeah. Oh, let me make it ten. Ten is fine. Ten is fine. Maybe I should add one more just directly below it. So maybe I'm gonna make the height five. Yeah, five should be fine too. So I'm gonna remove the text. Okay, so we have that. So the next thing I'm gonna add is um, a button. So what our app is going to do is probably to be used to control a robotic car. You want the car to go forward, you to go forward. You want it to go back, you go back. You want the car to go left, it go left. You want it to go right, it will go right. So let me easily pick a layout that will enable me get the button arrangement. So I'd like to use, uh, first of all, I'm going to use a vertical screw arrangement. So the width, I'm going to make it feel parent. Yeah. So I think the next thing I'm going to need is a table arrangement. So I'm going to make it, um, I'm going to be using four buttons, two for forward and back, and the other two for left and right. So I'm going to use three column by three column. Okay, cool. So that's it here. Uh, I'm going to make the width field parent. Okay, cool. So the next thing to do is to add our buttons. So I'm going to go to buttons. I'll drag it, drop in the first column. I'll drop another one at the okay I think I would like to make it look like a cross okay let me let me drop this here then drop this here then pick another one drop at the top here then pick another one drop here good so it's not looking like a cross so this one is going to be our forward so I'm going to change this to forward forward I'm going to make it bold I'm going to um, use 18. I like it using 18. Okay. Okay, that's it. Um, I think I like my button to have a color. What color would be suitable for controls? Let me just leave it at dark red. Dark, um, dark ash. Yeah, dark ash is cool. I, I, I like to use that. So the next thing to do is, uh, I think the shape of the button too can be adjusted to something like rounded edge. This button also, I'm going to change the text to left. So I'm going to do this. So I'm changing it to left. So I'm going to make this 18. Then I'm going to make this bold. I'm going to make this dark gray also. Okay. What about making the text white? So that it can show, yeah. So let's make the text white, both of them. So I'm going to make this white. Um, this button, I'm going to make it rounded edge. Yeah, rounded. This other button, I'm going to call it... Um, uh, so that's our right, actually. So I'm going to call it right. Then probably add something like greater than here to make it look, you know, nice. So I'm going to change this to 18 also. And I'm also going to change the background color to dark gray and also change the text color to white cool I think I'd like to change the shape to rounded so I'll go to this other button here I'm gonna make it font make this 18 I'm gonna make this shape to look rounded the text color is gonna be white and also the background is gonna be dark gray Okay, so we're done with this, but I think I'm not comfortable with uh, the spacing between 
this this vertical screw arrangement here and the horizontal screw arrangement. So I'm gonna add something like a label in between and try to use it to create a space. So that's it here. I'm gonna make sure the text is out. Uh, I'm gonna give it a height of probably 20. 20 should be fine. Yeah, I think 20 is fine. 20 is fine. Oh, uh, let me. I think. Okay, let's just let's make it 25. Okay, so this is what we have. I think I'll need a list view. I'll need a list view to enable me view all the Bluetooth devices that are available. So I'm going to use the list view to achieve that. Uh, I think I'm done with the design. I'm done with the design of my app. I'm done with the design of my app. Okay, uh, before we go swiftly to the programming end, I would like to change the name of my buttons to unique names that I'm going to be using. So I think I would like to change them. So I'm going to rename this to, to scan. Everything will just be on small letter. So I'm, I'll rename this to scan. I'll rename this to connect. Okay. I'll rename this button to disconnect. So that it will be easy for me to know who is who behind the scene so I won't get confused so I'll name this forward I'm gonna name this backward oh what happened to this button it's supposed to be backward backward okay so I'm going to change this to left. Okay, I'm going to change this to right. So I think I'm done with all the buttons. Their names matching with what they do. I have scan, I have connect, I have disconnect. Okay, I think that's cool. I think this label, I'll change it. I'd like to change the label to status. I would like to change the status. Okay, because I'm going to be changing it from the back end. So status. Okay, I think we're done here. So let's go straight to the next video. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how we are going to write our code for our BLE.